we are chatting about the Academy tonight, hopefully answering some questions. We've had just a ton of people reaching out, and we thought this might be a pretty effective way to kind of get the information to everybody and let you answer questions that you might have. Brianna says, her too, so much food. So much food. <laughs> I so bet. Much food. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. wait until those triplets become teenagers. I don't know what she's going to do. No kidding, man. Yeah. I'm finally like on the down end, right? My kids are all getting out of the house. I've got one left, so not as much food, but it's still a ton. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Alicia. People jumping on. Hi, Jen. Oh, ne Jen says, next gen rocks. Thanks, Jen. I, I think that's what I look like when I dance. I feel like those little dancers are me. No, <laughs> I'm plain dancer. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that's funny. Um, We'll go ahead and just get started. We've got about 13 people on here. We'll get going. And that way, those of you that are on time can get out of here and get on with your lives. I know it's kind of late on the East Coast time for you guys. So if you are early to bed, so you can get to bed um, and then get going. So um, we're going to go ahead and just kind of get started with who we are and a little bit about the Academy. You want to go ahead and get that started, Danielle? Absolutely. Um, and so my name is Danielle. I think you guys kind of are getting pretty good at knowing us by now. Um, I am one of the owners here at Twister Sports in central Missouri, so I would tell you the name of the town, but you won't know what that is anyway because our town has 20,000 people. Um, our gym is really heavy on rec, um, so we do a lot of rec tumbling, um, and then we do a little bit of rec cheer, a little bit of rec dance. We do have all-star teams, um, and then we have competitive tumbling teams as well. Uh, in a small town, our goal is always to have as many athletes as possible um, doing a program. And so we also offer batting cages. We have an escape room. Um, we have all kinds of fun programs, tons of birthday parties that we run. And we are, yeah, we just took over some space we had previously leased out to renters. Um, so we're about to open event center on that side of the building, about 6,000 square feet. So, um, that's a little bit about me. Shelly, do you want to tell a little bit about you? Yeah. So I am over on the other coast. I am on the West Coast. I'm in Reno, Nevada, which is about eight hours from Las Vegas. Those of you that are from California, I'm about four hours from Sacramento. Um, we have an all-star program or a cheerleading program here that's been open for this will be going into our 10th season. And we are primarily all-star. So we have about 275 kids in our all-star program between prep and like all-star full year teams. And we also offer rec classes, tumbling and cheer classes, warriors, and recently just started a gymnastics program. That's like basic gymnastics, right? We go only go up to eight years old, basically filtering those kids into our program that might go try gymnastics anyways, and then come to cheer. So we're starting them there. Um, so it's kind of a little bit about my program. I've been in the cheer world since gosh, darn it, like 2000, so almost 19 years now, um, have been a gym owner that's made every mistake possible, honestly. Like along the way, if it's a mistake that could happen, I've done it. I owned a program first in Oregon, um, had that program for about five years, uh, closed that gym, moved to Nevada, and then we opened a gym here after a little bit of being here. So I've kind of had the experience of starting a gym from the ground up and building an area. So, Sorry, we uh, get a couple messages when we're on, like, hey, are you on Facebook yet? Yeah, I have someone, Angela's trying to find us right now. Perfect. Okay, so um, we do also have Melissa, Rihanna, and Justin. Um, they are not on here. Justin's the one attached to me. Um, and so he is, you know, he was helping me put kids to bed, and uh, now he's just listening in the background. He's going to, like, flag me down if I sound really silly right now. So, um a few years ago, we all met and we really wanted to um, learn a little bit more about the business aspect. So, um, fast forward a couple years, we did a lot of learning. The four of us really stuck together. I say the four of us because while Justin is very business, um, he doesn't know cheer at all. He kind of walks by a practice. He's like, good job, girls. I'm like, they just fell in a pyramid. Uh, and so he's like that, you know, go get her dad. So anyway, um, we all saw kind of a lack in the industry. There's just not the education from people who've been there and done that. And we really wanted to be able to pass on a lot of the knowledge. We've read so many books over the years. We met on a weekly basis for years. Um, we listened to podcasts. We 
have these backgrounds that all really meshed together in a way that just made sense to be able to provide this. So my background specifically, um, I did public relations for the Air Force for years. I worked on their websites. I did a lot of their marketing. Um, and so for me, and I have a cheer background, um, but for me, that was a business angle that I just felt that I excelled in and I wanted to help other gyms be good at that. Um, I, I know Melissa and Rihanna can't be on this right now because four people gets chaotic sometimes, um, but I wish they could because their backgrounds too. Rihanna runs a licensed preschool. Um, she has three locations. Uh, Melissa has expanded from a monthly revenue of 4,000 a month to like 54,000 a month in five years. Um, it's been really incredible the amount of growth that we've seen and really networking together has been really important for that. So Shelly, I'll let you kind of mention your, your background a little bit outside of cheer. Absolutely. So I have a degree actually in education um, and kind of fell into the cheer world totally by accident. My daughter, when she was four, got super involved and um, by kind of a sense of tragedy in the gym owner's life, I ended up owning the gym, running the gym and having to kind of take things on. So during that time, I kind of took a crash course in business and took some business classes and really had to jump in like two feet kind of trial by fire right and learning how to how things work what works right what doesn't um, both in the business and the cheer side of it so it was a huge um, learning curve that I had to kind of pick up really quick um, so like I said my background is not in cheer it's in education um, but it's really been helpful for me to help other gym owners grow that sense of you know my background in education being able to teach other people how to build their program and kind of to learn from the mistakes that I made along the way as we were growing. Yeah. So I think it's interesting because we've all really taken um, these different education paths in the areas that we're really interested in outside of cheer. Um, and I think it was important that over the years, we never stopped growing. Like there's conferences I go to um, that have nothing to do with cheerleading. They just have to do with marketing. And you get to be with all these great marketing people and learn these uh, different pieces of knowledge that then we can pass on and adapt for the cheer industry. And I'm sure you do that in the same capacity, you know, with just having that education background and continuous Absolutely. learning. Absolutely. And we all, like you were saying, we all constantly are learning. Um, you talked about us meeting weekly. I think we meet more often now than we did initially. Now we meet two, three times a week and <laughs> really are challenging each other and pushing each other to grow um, in the way that as um, you know, a coaching group, we help each other as well. Um, just so we can really pass that out and keep growing because when we stop growing, we all stop learning. So 100%. Yeah. Awesome. Danielle, you want to talk kind of a little bit about um, the academy and just the purpose of it? Sure. Um, so when we saw this kind of lack of, of business opportunities and education and knowledge in the industry, um, I wish I could say it was my idea, but Justin as kind of not the cheer guy sat back in the business world and came to me one day and said, I think we need to start something where you guys can actually teach other owners what you're doing. And most ideas of his, um, you guys, he brings me like 20 ideas a week and I shoot down all 20. Um, that week I shot down 19. So I, I loved the idea, um, but I still wasn't, you know, for me, I needed a little time to say, okay, well, who makes, who makes sense in this? Um, Justin knew Shelly, Rihanna, Melissa as well. Um, he reached out to each of them over time. And I think everybody was really like, man, this is so necessary in our industry. Um, and the fun thing is we've all kind of been coaching people outside of the industry as well. You know, we work through our lo local chamber of commerce and we, today, in fact, I hosted a lunch and learn on the top five website fails. Um, and we had 16 people, including the hospital and the university and, and people coming to learn. And those were really like pivotal moments for us over the years, being able to educate other people and honestly prepare ourselves for this industry. I know Melissa did the same thing as an ambassador of her chamber of commerce, um, teaching people exactly, you know, how to run their businesses and seeing growth and excitement from that. So it was kind of at that moment, um, we all band together and that was a little over a year ago and decided we're going to go ahead and, and start next gen. Uh, we didn't, we knew where we would like it to go. We didn't realize it would get there quite so fast. Um, and it was really exciting. So all the stuff we preach about systems, like we had to develop those on our own as well. 
Um, and so it was really exciting to be able to do that and kind of see that growth and, and stay ahead of it the whole time. So June of last year, we hosted our first conference. Um, the Academy is a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So you work with a coach for two hours a month. That's usually broken up. Most people like it broken up into a 30 minute coaching call every week. Um, I have one or two that, you know, if you get busy one week or there's just, you're out of town on vacation, um, it makes sense to maybe meet for an hour one week and a half hour the other two weeks. So there's some flexibility in that as well. Uh, but the goal of that is that you're meeting consistently with the same coach so that you can troubleshoot areas of your gym and um, talk about what kind of growth you need. And it's so valuable to have an outsider perspective on that. So Shelly, I don't know if you want to, on the one-on-one -on -one coaching aspect, if you've got some additional feedback on that. So um, like, like Danielle was saying, with, as, a part, as an academy member, you get a weekly coaching call, um, whether that's weekly or some of my clients do 45 minutes three times a week, and then that last one is our monthly call, which we'll talk about. Um, but it kind of varies. Your coach can work with you on that. The thing that I think is so cool about coaching and that I've really gotten great feedback from my coaching clients is they love the ability to just sit down and talk and say, this is what's going on in my program. This is where I'm struggling. And this, you know, how do I get to the next step? Or just have you ever experienced this and what did you do when that happened? Or I'm absolutely at a loss and I just don't know, right? And sometimes just having that other person, somebody else that can hear, and maybe it's not, you know, I've had twice now where something's come up that I've never experienced, but I've been able to call the other coaches and say, hey guys, I'm stuck on this. You know, I've never had this experience and I feel like that's a pretty big. In 19 years, I, there's something I, didn't, I haven't come across, um, but everybody's really helpful. We've got this collaboration between us coaches to be able to really help um, programs grow and say, okay, have you ever experienced this? Or what is the next step with that? And here's the important part about that too. What you tell us is confidential. That does not go outside of our next gen coaches. And so you have the ability and the freedom um, to know that what, what you're telling us is private information. And so you can be honest. That's hard with friends, right? Especially friends in the industry, because I might be friends with a gym, you know, maybe an hour or two from me. Uh, but it's hard to, to make those honest connections sometimes because just the kind of conversations that are being had. So it's really important to know that we maintain professionalism at all times during those coaching calls. Absolutely. In addition to your monthly or your weekly coaching calls that you get as a part of the academy, as an academy member, you also get a monthly training call. So each month we kind of look at a topic that we find as coaches, we're all kind of hitting on in some way. So like this last month, we talked about sales funnels in our group coaching call. So it was, you know, what are you doing to get those kids into your, those parents, those families, into your gym, into your sales funnel, and then how are you filtering them through into members to increase your overall revenue? Um, what's really cool about these coaching calls is we take all of our academy members and we kind of break them up in groups. So you're with people that are on the same level that you're working at. So if sales funnels is new to you, we might put you with some people that are also, or we're going to put you with other people that are new. So you won't feel that feeling of overwhelm or loss, right? You're all kind of on the same page. Or if maybe that's an area where you're really advanced in, we will put you in a more advanced group. And then the next month, it might be something that you need extra work on. So we shift those groups around constantly. So each month you get that monthly coaching call. The monthly coaching calls are so cool in those group calls because it's a training specifically on a skill. You're coming out with some kind of homework or some kind of something to work on next. And you also get the information from other gym owners. So not only us coaches, but everybody else that's on your call, you're getting to hear what are they doing? Like, Ooh, could that work in my program? Some of the best things that I've ever got is from that honest, open communication where you're like talking in that group. And unfortunately in our industry, I feel like that's missing so much, right? People get on pages or they get in groups and they don't want to share what they're doing because they're afraid they'll lose their advantage or something, you know? And the reality is we're just all businesses trying to survive. And the more we can help each other and grow, the more successful we all are. And that's really our motto within the Academy that we're really here to help everybody build and grow their businesses. And that's one of the coolest parts about those monthly group calls. Absolutely. Um, one of my new favorite things that we are now doing on Fridays, we do ask the coach live. Um, and so we go on our Facebook 
page. So we do, or a group. So we do have a private group for all Academy members. Um, and one of us coaches, we rotate on there. We will go live and basically people can submit questions throughout the week. Um, or, you know, I always have in the back of my mind, like some things that have been kind of hot topics in my conversations with clients throughout the week. Um, just those topic areas this week, systems was a big one. And so, um, that's really neat too, because we get to kind of just be there available. And it's that interaction with different coaches. We all have our specialties. And so it's really fun to be able to go on there and tell people more about something based on their questions. So I know I'm really excited because tomorrow, um, one of the big things for me is active campaign, email marketing, how to integrate that into your websites for really effective stuff. I have a client I did, um, on a separate business, sorry, uh, I did email marketing for today and he's like inundated with emails. And he sent me kind of that laughing emoji. He's like, oh my gosh, I got so many responses from that. And we just thought first world problems, right? That's fun. Absolutely. So that group, you know, the Academy group is not only that Ask the Coach Live once a week, but it's also an opportunity for all the Academy members to be able to go in there and say, hey, has anybody ever experienced this? Or, hey, does anybody have this document that I'm looking for? Has anybody ever thought about doing this? Um, and you have that collaboration among all the owners that's really cool. And, you know, the coaches are in there as well. Yeah, I love that Academy Facebook group. And like I said, that is a private Facebook group that as an Academy member, you're added to. Um, I love that group because of the collaboration going on. Like just the other day, somebody was like, hey, I've never been to Summit. What do you send to your families to help them? And it's, oh, I have that. So then I uploaded my Summit documents in there that are super awesome for people to just grab it and say, okay, this works for me. This works for me. Or no, I don't use this. And then you don't have to recreate the wheel. Because for me, um, especially in the early years of owning a gym, time management was so critical, right? We're always so busy that you don't have time to just do everything all the time. And if somebody already has 75% done and I can grab it and change some things to fit my program, hallelujah, time is saved and money is saved because ultimately time is money. And if I can spend time not recreating a document and instead finding another way for my program to make money, I'm more profitable. So I love that about the Academy Facebook group, the collaboration, the ability to work within that group. So Shelly, I think we probably saved one of the best parts for last. Um, our Academy members get pretty excited pretty often because we have, um, and I'm going to go ahead and get to it here, but it, do you want to talk for just a second about the Academy package? Yeah. So our Academy, the, you mean the whole package or are you talking about the next? Okay. Just well, making sure I'm not giving away your next part here. Um, so like we were kind of chatting about as you go. So the Academy package includes your weekly calls with your one-on-one -on -one with your coach, your monthly training call, your private Academy Facebook page, discounts for conference. So conferences you get to attend at a discounted rate. Um, and then in addition to that, you get the Academy folders. These Academy folders are so awesome. They have a ton of things in there and Danielle's going to pull it up right now so you can kind of see how that works. But in those Academy folders, you can find done for you like marketing campaigns that are all done. So Facebook advertising, we have Facebook pictures, things that we've tried and used that pull well, that get great engagement and um, result in sales on your Facebook. We have systems that are done. So if you need a system for how to you know, open your gym, you just click and bam, it's done. You take it, change the words, change the names position agreements for every job that you could need in your gym. And if it's not up there, ask. Somebody has it and we'll put it. Um, it has things from staffing, how to, you know, staff write-ups, staff hiring, onboarding processes. Like anything you can think of to make your gym run is in this Academy folder. Do you have that up, Danielle? Do you want to show that for us? Thank you. Um, also in there, we have email copies. So if you are going through and you are sending up like you should be, you're doing your engagement emails. We've got those in there. We've got autoresponders. So Danielle, I'll click on here for you. Go ahead, Danielle, you wanna kinda of take them through here? Sure, so yeah, we have autoresponders right here. It's up to 11 emails that are already written for you. All you have to do um, is edit as necessary. We actually have a partnership too with um, another company, 360 Media, in all transparency. I'm one of the owners there too. Um, and we do have some private or some um, partnership options too when it comes to getting those autoresponders built and getting them set up for you. Also, in the all-star packet, 
here. This is a big topic right now, you guys. We've got um, budgets. So basically how to run your budgets with your spreadsheets. We've got, this is a big one. I was just looking at these myself even. Um, All-star tryout packets. Not only is there like a PDF so you can see what it's supposed to look like, but there's actually, you know, the document that you can go in and edit yourself. That's a really important one. Um, as we're backing out, I'm gonna go to quarterly marketing. This is the one Shelly was talking about. We've got our fall 2018, our winter, so starting you know, the, in January, our winter 19, we've got our spring 19. And when you look inside of these, so for example, we've got blog posts, engagement emails, a list of events that you can host during that time, and then your Facebook ad imagery. Like we're giving you licensed Facebook ad um, photography here that you can use. Um, it is stock imagery for the most part. There's a few things in there um, that are not, but those are actually fantastic ones that we've used ourselves that pull, um, pull really well. So, so Social media, that's a huge one. If you, which we all should be, you know, properly using our social media, we have a content calendar in there. So it's year by year, by for the whole year, every day, what you should be posting to make sure you're getting engagements, you're drawing people into your business and really getting qualified leads because we all know those qualified leads become customers, which at the end of the day becomes more, more money in your gym. Right. Um, we also have every live video that we have ever done on NextGen is categorized right in here, right down to that webinar that everyone was looking for last week um, that we've been emailing out. Our Academy members had access to it like within an hour so that they had it uploaded right there for them. Um, in addition to that, I get so excited. I'm talking like really fast, but all our East Coasters are asleep right now. They would identify. Um, and so then we go to our systems folder. There's going to be different systems for everything you could potentially need down to literally a checklist of systems that you should have. Um, I actually got in here earlier, did a bunch of stuff on our birthday parties so that you can see exactly how to run a birthday party from booking it to running the party to collecting the final payments, all of those systems. And when you're talking about a system, I'm going to pull one system up here. This is the opening system we use at my gym. So you can pull this up, it's shared with you. You can open it as a Google Doc. And just like Shelly said, all you have to do is pop your logo on there and kind of readjust these for them to make sense at your gym. So if you don't have a Keurig, you just have a regular coffee maker, that's fine. You just swap out, swap out that. And then, you know, your coach can help you do a quick walkthrough of your gym also. Say, did you catch everything on there? And what I absolutely love about this is not only do we have these in there, but each of us coaches have our own system. So you'll see all the time in the Academy Facebook group, hey, does anyone have another system for this? Or I saw this one, does anyone have another one? Because then you can look at the five, six, you know, even other gym owners in the Academy, their systems and say, what fits for me? What models after what I'm doing? Because what works for Danielle, Danielle's program is very different than mine, right? Might not exactly work. So you can find like who fits best for your model and what that works. And I love, love, love in that Academy Facebook group, like I was saying, I just, I love on that group. Um, in that group, people post all the time, I'm looking for this. So this um, Academy group, this Academy files right here, isn't all inclusive. We're constantly putting more things in there. Anytime someone asks for something, it's up. Um, those of you that listen to my all-star tryout prep clinic for, or cl clinic webinar, sorry, I can't talk today. Um, I uploaded for our Academy members. I uploaded our tryout questionnaire, our managing expectations forms, our videos, like everything that I talked about in there just went right in there for those Academy members. Because again, why spend the time redoing it if you can just take a little bit of it and change it and make it happen? Yep. Um, we see all the time lesson plans. That's another one. Like I see questions all the time from people saying, has anyone ever run this event any before? Um, or do you have a lesson plan for this? This one's pretty amazing. Like Rihanna just literally dumped every lesson plan she's ever done in here. Um, and I think Melissa did so as well. And you guys just look how long you can scroll. There are lesson plans for days in here. Um, so you're not, and again, this is cool. Oh, <laughs> sorry. That's okay. I was just saying, again, this is cool because if Rihanna runs a nerve camp and Melissa runs it different or Danielle runs it different, you can look at the three options and say, how do I want to run it? Right? right? So you're not just stuck with one way of doing something. There's lots of perspectives and lots of options. 
Right. These are great too, because they're proven systems. It's not just a system that we wrote and said, here you go. It's a system that we use in our gyms. So if you have that question and you're like, okay, I see that your birthday party system says that they're supposed to do X, Y, Z. Why do they do that? Um, that that's something that's really easy. You can come back and we can actually answer those questions. Um, whether it's on the Academy page or, or ask the coach or something like that. It's really neat to be able to go back to that person and say, huh, I never thought of that before. Absolutely. So yes. just a quick reminder on that Academy, the Academy group. So being a member of the Academy gives you a weekly call each week. So four, four calls a month, a training monthly training call, your Academy Facebook group page, your conference discounts, and then access to that Google drive that has all of the endless supply of kind of everything in there. Um, the Academy, the biggest question you always get is, you know, what is the financial commitment to the Academy? So the Academy is $349 a month for the first six months. After the first six months, we, that's kind of your intro, right? It's really intensive in that first part. We have two different options kind of based on what your program needs. So they range from $349 to $449 a month based on what you're looking for and what your program needs after that initial six months. I know for myself and most of my clients, Danielle, we kind of, the first six months is like, go, 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 right? We're getting so much done and so much in place. And then it kind of, everybody goes in a little bit different direction after those first six months. Um, something that's really important that we like to get across is this is not a contract, okay? We're asking you to sign a membership agreement. Of course, my phone would ring. Um, <laughs> We suggest that you really try the program for six months so you can experience the most growth, right? It takes a little bit of time to start getting things going and things implemented in your gym. Um, but if at any point you find that this is just really not working for you, you're able to cancel that program at any time. Yep. Um, the sign-up process for the Academy is really, really simple. Um, if you go onto our website, Danielle will pull it up here for you, and you click on NextGen, it's called nextgenowners.com. And you're gonna click there on grow your business. So if you click on grow your business, you'll see um, one of our Academy clients and kind of her experience within our program. And again, reminds you just what you get as a member of the Academy. And as you scroll down here, you can click here to view the membership agreement. So just know guys, by filling this out does not mean you're signing up. It's just, you fill it out, Danielle's gonna enter it for us and click view the agreement. And this is going to pull up the membership agreement for you here. It's not my real phone number. Don't try and call it. <laughs> and that goes through again, the business coaching. It gives you the agreement. Okay. What's included with it, the financial agreement, and then that. And if you scroll down, it gives you the opportunity to go ahead and register there. Okay. So this process is simple. Once you complete this, what's going to happen in 24 to 48 hours, Justin, who is our onboarding specialist, is going to go ahead and reach out to you and get you set up. From there, he'll get you set up with a coach that we feel is the perfect fit for you. Um, during that setup call, during your onboarding call, he's going to go ahead and give you a call and talk with you about your program and kind of get a feel for what you know what you're looking for in a coach what he thinks is going to be the best because he knows us all really well what he thinks is going to be the best fit we really try to do our very best to pair people up with a coach that's really going to match their needs and help them grow anything you want to add there danielle yeah so if you guys didn't see there's also that funny 14 day money back guarantee okay um we are very confident in the services that we provide because we know um we know how much they can help people who are trying to just grow their gym. Um, the Academy is not just for people who is like, you know, who are feeling like if I don't do this, I'm going to close my gym next week. That is not the only kind of people that, that the Academy has helped. In fact, we have people who are talking about retirement plans and 401ks and preparing for financial growth and preparing for um, the future, maybe in two or three years to actually sell their businesses and make money. Okay, it is possible to do that. We don't just have to close gyms one day after all this hard work, you can sell a business. So the Academy is able to um, help with clients of all different kind, you know, no matter what stage you're at. Um, I had, so since June, I've had two different people completely on different tracks, okay? One has owned a swim school forever. She has like 1200 swimmers. Um, they're doing incredible. She's just learning how to like back away a little bit, 
be, you know, she went to Germany for 10 days and it was incredible. She got back and she's like, everything ran fine. Um, and then I have another one who, I don't think they're going to stop. They really want to enroll. Um, I have another one who um, didn't actually even open her gym. She started in June with the Academy and did all this knowledge and preparation. And then she opened her gym January 15th. And you guys, she's booking birthday parties like they're going out of business here. Um, but she's, they're both doing so well in the same program because the weekly coaching is able to tailor it to each person and um, provide the kind of education and resources that you need. Absolutely. Awesome. So, um, I, Danielle, I, over the last few weeks, I've gotten a lot of questions kind of via messenger and stuff. And, um, we'd like to open this up for kind of questions, but I think there's some questions that are always like a little bit nervous for people to ask, right? So I'm just going to ask them out and then we can kind of see what other questions people have. So one of the questions that I've gotten from people is what happens if I get paired up with a coach and I really just don't like them? Fair enough. Um, so while I do think we're all likable, I get it. <laughs> um, one of the first things I actually do is do a personality test with each of the clients because I like to know who am I working with here. But in the event that, you know, it just didn't work out, we have three other coaches who are fantastic to work with. Um, our number one goal would be to try to readjust. So put you with another coach. Never does that mean you're never going to talk to that person again. Nobody's upset. Um, we get it. Personalities are just, they're all a little different. And what you're looking for out of a coach and what we can provide as coaches, sometimes those two don't always match up. Um, and so the fantastic thing about this program is that we can pair you with another coach who might have a different personality. Um, but you know, we have a way to ensure that you can still get everything you're looking for out of the program. Awesome. I think that's answer. Yes. It's not an easy question, but I get it. Absolutely. Um, and we've actually had this happen once, right? We had this happen once already in the Academy where we had to kind of move people around, match somebody up a little bit better to just really get someone that fits personalities. Cause again, not everybody matches everybody, right? Not everybody likes bubbly and personality all the time. And you know, everybody's a little different. So, um, another really, Oh, go ahead. Sorry. The other thing I was going to say, you know, we maintain the top, like, the highest level of professionalism. This is not um, by Felicia kind of situation here. And I actually hate seeing that kind of stuff on forums because at the end of the day, like we want people to do well. We're all adults. And so if you need to switch coaches, totally okay. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, another question that I actually had asked this week and I think you said the same, and it's such a great question is, how many Academy members are there, right? Like, am I joining this Academy and then I'm going to end up in the Facebook group with like me and one other person or how many members are in this group? Yeah. So the collaboration is really important. So I get that question. Um, we've got right now 25, Justin sitting right here, uh, 25 Academy members. Also keep in mind that a lot of them have business partners uh, who are of course in the group. And so then the, Five of us, I have two additional business partners um, who honestly know just as much as I do and in fact um, have some great insight as well. And then Rihanna has two business partners. So what you're talking about in a group is I would say 45 to 50 people of true collaboration. Absolutely. And I think that's so valuable, right? Some, some just having, I always say, and I know we talk about this a lot, but really genuinely having like-minded people. Yeah. People that are really on the same track, you know, about growing our businesses and being better because um, I always try to remind gym owners and I always remind myself in the decisions I make. If I'm not making good business decisions and my business isn't there tomorrow, I can't influence kids in the way that I want to, right? And I think so many of us are in this business for that. Um, one last one and then we'll open it up to questions. If anybody else has questions, we can answer about the Academy. Um, the one that we get a lot is, and I just heard this the other day, actually, it says, it seems like a big financial investment. What happens if I get going and I, it's just not right. Like I'm not seeing growth. I'm not getting anything out of it. Yeah. So again, we have that 14 day money back guarantee. However, um, at no point do we want somebody to be tied to what they feel is a contract um, when they feel like they're not getting anything out of it. So at that point, um, that, that would be your final month. We don't charge you the next month. Uh, at the end of the month, you would, 
you know, be offboarded, um, which is our kind way of saying, you know, we'll take, you get taken out of the Facebook group and um, removed from the access to systems. But again, no hard feelings ever. Um, you're not getting charged. Like there's no quitters fee here, guys. I'm not re-choreographing anything. Um, and so those are the good things, right? Our goal is always to keep you in a really good situation. Our goal is to help you make money and to help you build your freedom in your gym. Absolutely. And, and we keep you over in the next gen gym owners group, right? In the non-academy group. And hopefully you can find value in that and get things out of that and continue to grow your business. We do know that, you know, like Danielle was saying, we don't want anyone to ever feel tied to something. If it's not working for you, it's not working for you. Um, but I just can't stress enough. And I talk about this a lot at conference, just the value in having a coach and the value in having somebody that you can work one-on-one -on -one with to keep you accountable and on the right track. Because just in our day-to-day -day lives, and we know, you know, every time, every week I have my coaching calls with my folks, somebody says, oh, this week, why? Like, this happened and this happened. And, and you know, you have to take the few minutes and listen to the stuff and go, okay, yep. And it happens every week, right? Because that's our life in the cheer world. It's like somebody always got hurt and we had to redo a routine or this happened. And, but now let's worry about the things that make us money. What are the things we need to do? And it's that check. It's that point of keep having somebody to really keep us moving forward in a direct, in a direction where we're growing and expanding not only our business, but ourselves and our personal lives and really getting to just be, um, you know, great parents, great mothers, great wives, spouses, whatever we are outside of the cheer world and really just giving us the opportunity to grow as people. Right. When we say um, also, you know, that we want you to make money and we want to make more money. It's not so much about the money. Keep in mind, it's about the paycheck. Like this is a job you are working. So if you work a full-time job and then you go to your gym afterwards, it's still a job. It might be a hobby, but you are working so hard that you deserve a paycheck. And um, if you're taking a paycheck, you like you're the best person at your business. I guarantee like you are the expert. And if I work in the corporate world and I am the expert at the business, I'm probably making a pretty good paycheck. So, you, you know, at that point, you might be taking a paycheck. We want you to take a bigger paycheck because you work so hard and you, um, you know, you risk a lot to do this. Absolutely. So guys, we're going to go ahead and open this up for questions. Are there any other questions we can answer for you? There is a little bit of a delay, so we'll kind of hang out here awkwardly for a moment. Um, Lesia did say, like Shelly said, I think my favorite part of the Academy is the transparency, file sharing systems more. I also love um, just being a part of, you know, a, a group that works like that, the collaboration, is being able to see people, right? When you travel all over the country, it's so cool to go, oh, so-and-so here is here, and so-and-so is here, and, um, you know, being able to kind of know people everywhere you go and having those things as well. For sure. Yeah, I, I think um, the collaboration is probably my favorite part of the Academy. I just really like, and it, you feel like, have you guys ever gone um, somewhere and you have something really incredible happen and then you go, like I remember our very first time in our gym that we had a huge event and it was the Kansas City Chiefs cheerleaders. I got them to come to our gym and host this clinic and I had like a hundred kids register for it. It was incredible. And I called my dad and I'm like, dad, you will never believe this. And he's like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, I am so excited right now. And you know, so having other people, that's a really neat thing to be able to do that. Awesome. Um, yeah. Jessica asked, I'm assuming the pricing is in US dollars. It is, yes, that is correct. Yep. So that's a great question, Jessica. Um, we do have, how many Canadian claims do we have? We kind of a good amount right now, right? Yep. <laughs> Justin said, I don't like, know the number oh. offhand. I know, we're throwing everyone for a loop here, but we do have a um, good number. I can't think the exact number offhand, but. One, two, three. Danielle's counting. Any other questions we can answer for you guys before we jump off of here? Um, do, you know, do remember, like I said, you can go to nextgenowners.com and click on coaching to get more information to kind of read about that and talk about anything we've said. Again, myself, Danielle, Melissa, Rihanna, feel free to jump out or jump out, reach out to any of us at any time, you know, jump on Facebook, message us, however, and we will 100% get back to you. You can also email any of us at our name at nextgenowners.com. 
if you're you know one of those people that doesn't love Facebook Messenger, you're totally welcome to do that, and we can get back to you that way as well. Yes. All right. I don't really see any other questions. So, um, like I said, guys, feel free to reach out if you need anything. Just a quick recap. Um, that Next Gen Academy program does include the four weekly calls, your monthly training call, your um, added to the Academy Facebook group page with all of the sharing and collaboration, your conference discounts, and the unlimited supply of Academy folders that has kind of systems, lesson plans, kind of everything you need to really run your business. Um, we hope that you have found this valuable to get some information. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any of us. And we look forward to talking to you all soon. Hopefully, um, uh, welcoming some new Academy members and it looks like Danielle has something to say real quick and also don't forget about our conference um, Absolutely. June 6th and 7th in Dallas Texas uh, we will be doing three tracks um, technically it's four but at any given time there is three going on um, kind of a beginner a slightly more advanced or a beginner and advanced and then um, either an Academy or a managers track so we do allow managers to come to these meetings with an owner yeah Awesome. So we hope to see you all there. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and we will talk to you all soon. Have a great evening.